This is f***ing evil. God dang it, really? This is the choice. Oh my god. What? Lights or life support. You gotta turn one off. <laughs> Wait, me? Yep. Life support or mm. lights, Kate. So, anyway. Uh, <laughs> let's just go ahead and uh, just say, uh, yeah. This one was recommended on our Discord. Uh, this is a horror short film called Death and the Winemaker. So, there's a there's several uh, that. Oh, I want wine. <clears throat> yeah, wine wine's nice. Uh, what's your favorite kind of wine? Mm, I haven't decided yet. I like a sweet red. A sweet red wine uh, has a good like has a good like sweet hit, and the after and the aftertaste is like a little bit of a. It just goes down smooth, and then the aftertaste it gives off uh, like taste of a uh, taste of uh, grapes or whatever, whatever they used to ferment. I mean, I had some before one time, and I don't know what kind it was. Never have been able to figure it out, but it was super sweet, like grape juice tasting wine, <laughs> and it was awesome. But I've never been able to find anything like that again. Ah, well, either way, though, I mean, you know, it's. Not like you know there aren't a massive amount of wines out there that we can try out and see which ones we like. I mean, there's there's several wines my mom's uh, let me try. I actually looked up how to taste wine, like uh, all of the steps to go through. Yeah, you don't. And uh, it's it was kind of enjoyable. Like once I figured that out, to check out the couple wines that I had at the time. Yeah, and there's also the thing where at wine tastings you don't swallow it. Yeah, you get drunk as hell if you're going through a whole bunch of them. Yeah, it, I, I, I saw a Family Guy episode where Peter did that. He basically like, like just is like, Peter, have you been spitting out the wine? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, see, so like, yeah, spit out the wine, and I'm like, maybe every third one I might not. <laughs> Well, no, if it's one that I don't like, I'm going to spit it out. But if it's one that I'm just like, hmm, that's actually really good. <laughs> Maybe then, but I'm not going to just like every swig I take at a wine tasting, I'm not just going to be like, just down the whole damn thing. But either way, we have a... Uh, I like a lot of stuff, so unless it's just particularly vile, I'll probably be tempted to swallow it. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. But either way, I'd love yeah, to go this... to a wine tasting sometime. I never have gotten the opportunity. That sounds awesome. You know, we could, uh, there's actually several wineries we could go to. Should that. go to Biltmore if they ever have one there. <clears throat> oh, Biltmore might. Biltmore might have one. I know there's a winery outside of Abingdon that does one every now and again. That would be I, cool. I can look so and see. Not too far away. Yeah, I can look and see when they're doing it again, and uh, maybe we could head up there and do that. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Maybe they'll let us make a video of it or something. Maybe. We'll see. But, all right. Anyway, the short film, uh, Death and the Winemaker. Let's uh, check it out and let's see what uh, see what it has to offer. Here we go. Imagina Studio. Television Suisse. In the forum, support uh, Victor Jacquier. I like the art style. I do too. Spider. Spider. Oh. Je ne peux plus rien faire pour elle, mon enfant. French. Je suis désolé. Pourquoi la mort s'en prend-elle à nous? Alors que c'est de la faute du vigneron. C'est ce qu'on t'a raconté. Oui. Son égoïsme a mis la mort très en colère et... Et maintenant nous en payons le prix. 
C'est vrai, il s'est montré égoïste. Mais à l'origine de sa faute, il y avait du bon. Il y avait de l'amour. So this uh, that initial part was set during the plague because plague doctor mask and also Bonjour Pierre. Bonjour. And she's blind now because his nose just poked her eye out. Rentre à la maison, Mathilde. Mathilde, je t'aime. Je t'aime aussi. Yeah, his nose would definitely poke her eye out. Hmm. Yeah, a screw press. That's what they used to use for a lot of, uh, like, egg. when you couldn't do, like, the stomping, the traditional stomping method. It was more sanitary than the stomping, at least. Yeah, yes, but also, it takes so long to ferment that it, that anything, like, you would think would be in it would basically not, it basically wouldn't affect you in the initial, like, in the initial, like, uh, whenever the wine is made. Maybe, but it's still just. Well, I mean, it's not <laughs> like they. It's not like the people just go up there and start stomping the wine, you know, without washing their feet first. That's the traditional thing. Is like you would wash your feet. I mean, that's. This was back before modern machinery was able to uh, circumvent a lot of the labor like that, and instead the screw press came in and is what made it a lot easier to like smash fruits so that they could be fermented. <coughs> Monsieur, voici les raisons de ma venue. Euh, je suis ici pour vous demander la main de votre fille, Mathilde. <rire> Vraiment Et pourquoi accorderais-je la main de ma fille à un pauvre vigneron comme toi Eh bien, parce que j'ai réussi à créer le meilleur vin du monde. Tu oh, oh, veux faire goûter ta petite piquette que tu as mis trois années à produire <rire> Si tu as le meilleur vin du monde, dans ce petit tonneau, je veux bien te donner ma fille. Parole d'honneur. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> It's heaven. Are you, are you a man of your word? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Ton vin a du nez, il est vrai. Cependant. Seule la personne la plus impartiale parmi les puissants pourra juger de sa vraie qualité. Tu n'as qu'à lui donner une bouteille. 
Ou pas Tiens hey. Keep moving the goalposts. It's just like mm -hmm. it, it's like if it is truly the best of the world, then I will then I'll grant you my daughter's hand. Smells it basically basically orgasms at the the smell of it. And then it's just like um send it to the Pope. Uh, that that'll be the true test of if it is worthy. Très bien, si telle est la condition, je partirai pour Rome dès demain. C'est ça. Faisons ça. Nous reparlerons des noces à ton tour. Scumbag Lord. I love the artwork. I love the the colors. I love the I love the motion and everything. It's just. Everything works so well. Ooh. The hell, lightning couldn't do that to a rock. Hey, scurry off, rat. de la personne la plus impartiale parmi les puissants. Saurais-tu me montrer ta puissance Tu ne m'en crois pas capable. Ok, you convinced me. Ok. Très impressionnant. Mais une dernière chose et ensuite je te laisse goûter à mon vin. Tu oses encore me défier. Prends garde à ne pas jouer avec ma patience. Tu es impressionnante. Il ne fait aucun doute. Cependant, la puissance ne se reflète-t-elle pas autrement que par la taille Évidemment. Bien. Je suis convaincu. Je te laisse déguster mon vin. Inside of the cask of wine. Oh boy. 
Why would that work on death? Don't know. Maybe death was enjoying his wine too much. His head is just front and center. Isn't it time that you let death out of the cask? You fool. Mm, if you let death out of the cask, death will kill his beloved. But if death is not let out of the cask, well, it, death will kill everybody, but death, I don't think, was very specific on when she was going to die. Mm, I made it sound like even this one for who I have come at, like death was on the way to get her right now. I would have asked death is like, what do you mean about her? What, like, is she due to die anytime? That's what I would ask. And honestly... I, I would have asked death if I could trade like, you know, I'm like if you like the wine I'll give you the whole cask in exchange for her life. Could we make a deal like <clears> that? <throat> and something like that. Maybe. But he's a fool for doing this because to cheat death is to basically, you know. Uh. To cheat death, you cannot do. Hey, at least he got to marry the one that he loved. And have children with him, very nice. Trying to think of the art style that reminded me of this. That this reminded me of. It's sort of Metalocalypse. Yeah, a little. In terms of the lines and everything. In terms of like some of the character movements and all that. All of a sudden I just expect Squizgard to come out and know it was like, why this use traps deaths inside of wine's caskets? <laughs> that makes no sense. Why would deaths be, be interested in wines? If I'm death, I would interest in uh, being with G milfs that this grandmother's that I just likes to. F Basically, this is the same as Jacob's Tall Tales. There was a tall tale that Jacob told where he captured death in a bag and never let death out, and everyone grew too old. And then at the end of his at the end of his life, when he he sought death, he let he let death loose. Now death is starved. This is a vineyard. Regarde ce que tu as fait. Par ta faute, j'ai tant de travail à rattraper. Ah. 
<laughs> the plague, that's that's what this is supposed to be symbolic symbolic of. Because of the winemaker, death had to unleash a plague in order to catch up on all the lives that were not lost. Répandit un fléau qui faucha tous ceux sur son passage. Que l'horreur soit arrivée ou non. Et qu'est-il arrivé au vigneron Elle l'a condamné à rester ici-bas, à jamais. He's the winemaker. Alors, il erre à travers le monde, combattant du mieux qu'il peut le mal dont il est responsable. Oh, he's the winemaker, I knew it. Telle est sa malédiction. Et telle est l'origine de la peste noire dans notre pays. Jesus wept. That was pretty dark. That was pretty dark, but also really good. Yeah, I liked that. I liked that a lot. I thought that was ve like the symbolism and the tie-in with the Great Plague that basically decimated Europe, uh, the bubonic plague, the Black Death. Yeah, that was super well done. Everything in this, like the art was beautiful. The story, it it reminds me of like I said, the old like tall tales from uh, like Jacob and uh, gosh, dude, or Jack's tall tales, Jack's tall tales. Like those, there was a collection of stories back when I was a kid. And uh, let's see. <laughs> Let's see, I... Dang it. I can't remember what the name of it is now. Someone will probably tell, someone will probably tell me. Yeah, there's a lot of Tall Tales books out there. Paul Bunyan, Davy Crockett, John Henry, uh, Pecos Bill. <laughs> yeah, there's Paul Bunyan, Pecos Bill, The Boy Who Drew Cats. Those old Jack Tales, that's them, the Jack Tales. Uh. <laughs> yep, Richard Chase. Yeah, these were. <laughs> Prairie Folk Tales of the Southern Appalachians, so in our neck of the woods. Yeah, these were these were a lot of fun. The, yeah, that's the that's the artwork. I remember the book so well. It was so good. Oh man. Gosh, I'm feeling old looking at these. I'd love to yeah, I'd love to go back and read them just to see how how they still hold up. But Anyway, that was that was awesome. That was really really well done. I I want to see more 
uh, stuff like that. I'd, I'd love to see more animated stuff in do with that. I know that there's another one out there called uh, The Twins, I think. And we'll have to check that one out. Because uh, you know, if it's anything like this, I, I, I'll be very much down to check it out. Yeah, for sure. But anyway, I think that's going to do it, everybody. So until next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick. And take care, everyone. Peace.